All right, you guys ready? <clears throat> it's been a little while. Thought we would just do a basic bead pull. Two colors, black and white. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is black background, and then we'll lay the beads. Then we'll go over the beads with the white and pull it. Not sure how this is gonna turn out, but what the hell, let's try it anyways. What do you think? Let's do it. So basically, I got some black and white paint mixed up with some Floetrol and water. And, you know, just some basic beads I got from the dollar store. Mardi Gras, whatever. So I think we're going to do a black background. So I have this set up on the spin table, which is just a piece of plywood attached to a Lazy Susan, which I picked up at Target. Real cheap. I don't know, like five bucks, something like that. So we'll just give it a spin. Put our black down. So much fun. So much fun. And so easy. Eh, yeah, that's probably good. <clears throat> Then I just basically use a palette knife, spin it the opposite direction. Oh crap, I meant. Keep spinning it. Spin, spin, spin. Then we'll give it a good spin the other way. It should actually go all the way out to the edges here, momentarily. If not, just take your knife, pull it out, because there's plenty of paint on this canvas already. And give it another good spin. So if you notice your edges are not covered, just do it on a lap with your black all around the edges. That, and if you see any spots, just fill it in. Give it another spin, try not to get it all over your pants. check your edges if your edges are like like this just use your finger tap it in and then you give it another spin and it should uh, it should pull it the rest of the way out always save a little paint though for once it dries just in case Seems anymore, everybody just talks. I prefer just to play music, but the views aren't there anymore for some reason. So I thought I'd start talking to you guys and we'll see what happens. We'll give it a whirl, <clears throat> then give it another spin. It just pulls the paint right out to the edges. Oh shoot, I got the camera too close to that table. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so now our paint looks pretty good. I got a couple bubbles here. I'm just gonna, hopefully those are bubbles. <gasps> oh, it's crap. Okay. If you get that, you know, I'll just spin it again and it'll cover it up. So now we're gonna take our beads, just basic Mardi Gras beads. I'm just gonna do like the swirl thing. And honestly, if you still have like waves in your paint, 
like I have a lot of waves in this paint right now, but I think it adds to it. It, um, I don't know, it just looks cool to me for some reason. Don't mind the furnace. It's cold here in Ohio. <clears throat> what do you think, white or blue? Oh. We'll start with white and see what happens. So we're just gonna take our white and I'm gonna try to just go on top of the beads. Oh man, I almost think I should put blue on there too. Well, let's start with the white and see how it looks. Try to get them exactly on top so it drips down both sides. Hey, that's actually a pretty good mix. I usually use one part paint, one part flow trawl, Shoot. and about half water. I think I'm going to stop it like right there. I think I'm going to do blue too, though. Ad hoc decision here. I'm gonna do blue, like, on the outside. It's kind of like a bright blue. So when I pull it, the white's gonna go through the blue. Leave a little space. Yeah. I actually didn't mean to, but oh well. got something going here all right let's see what we end up with and again you know these beads are like quarter so if you got to use a couple you gotta use a couple so here we go man I really like the way the beads pull that paint I should have put the blue on top of the white You got to kind of pray for no drippies. Now here's where it gets a little funky. I think I'm going to spin it too when I'm done. That touch of blue actually helped. Oh no. Oh, I missed some blue. Well, actually, it might not be bad. Look at that. That's dope. We just made a cool painting in like literally three minutes. I'm getting a little bit of cell action too. I'm gonna give it a, just a quick spin and see what happens. I think I should go around the edges. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna leave it. Just a simple, simple little swirl painting. Yeah, let's get another spin. <gasps> All right, we're down the rabbit hole. Screw it. Ooh, there we go. We're getting a little bit, a little, little wavy action now. I like to spin it for a minute and stop, see. And I like to leave a little space for my signature too, and that's just about perfect. We got a little swipe here though. Cover that. Get a little spin. <clears throat> for being that simple and that easy. I don't know which way I like it though. Probably like that. Uh, uh, I'll let the customer decide. I'll give you some close-ups and we'll call it a wrap. Thanks for watching guys.
Okay, so I gave her a couple more spins. I got some pretty good cells. I like this one for as easy as it was. If you try this, send me some pics. If you send pics, though, send them to my Facebook because my YouTube, uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's like I don't get notifications or something. I don't know. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.